Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Lois, and welcome back to Forever Stranded Lost Souls. In the last episode, we were attempting to use uh, our tank to, well, make a farm, and it wasn't working all that well, um, because uh, I went ahead and looked things up. Um, we actually need to have three uh, buckets of water before this actually works as uh, a water source. So we're one off. Uh, I did get some more leaves, so I'm that should be ready for us to go. Um, before we get to that, um, while while looking for information on the farm, uh, the tank, and how it works, um, I I was reading forums and saw that there there's a secret chest underneath the seat. Um. Oh wow. So we have. Searing Swordfish, which is an, a, a weapon that's as good as our stone, a BLT, and some hamburgers. Cool. Uh, more importantly, we have a chest. Uh, cool. Uh, so that is a hidden chest that, again, I, I found out about because of, uh, well, looking up the tank. And I might have found out about another chest that is somewhere. I actually don't know where specifically but somewhere up above. Um, now, something I think we're going to do, one, there's a magma cube. I don't think it's smart to, to fight those anymore. Um, but there is a hidden chest somewhere up above here. Um, not, ow. Not entirely sure where, but uh, we'll, we'll go look for it eventually. I believe it starts a, a little bit of a mini quest uh, to go find stuff, um, but we'll see. Anyways, let's grab our water so that we can start getting uh, our farm going. Uh, because we need to get a farm so that we can start working on, uh, well, lots of things. Uh, so let's see if this works now. Will you hydrate the land? Um... Okay, it has, it said it was 300, uh, three buckets worth of water and it would like change the block or something. It would act as a water source. So we can try to get uh, the fourth and fill it completely up. Uh, we have one leaf so far, so we're gonna need more leaves. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, something we can work on and something I kinda wanna do, uh, we're gonna run out of room in our base relatively quickly if we're not careful uh real quick do we have any chests over here we do um uh, with a bunch of things i didn't bother sifting anymore um just haven't got around to it uh we can actually make sifters a little bit better uh if we make more uh this is the version of x nilo uh where if we have let's say a five by five of uh sieves with the this mesh in it uh we can sift it all at once so we'll probably want to get more of those uh, and probably expand into this area, which means we're going to want to kind of change things here. Um, now that being said, one of the big things that I'd like to do is I would like to expand our base. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff we don't need on us right now. Uh, I'm kind of curious if the swordfish is any better. Um, definitely pretty quick on the attack, but I think... It's exactly the same, except it doesn't have durability. So that might be worthwhile. Um, anyways, let's grab some cobblestone. And what we're going to do is we're going to make another little area for our base. Um, specifically, we're going to just build underneath. Um, so what I want to do is I want to reclaim this entire area. Uh, so this is not only going to give us a little bit more headroom, um, but also just kind of in general more everything uh, let's actually break this down I forgot we get rocks can we throw rocks oh we totally can oh and they don't actually despawn uh, or break or anything cool um 
so I mean this would be kind of the the smart area but we'd have to get rid of all these slabs huh how do I want to do this so I think right here is fine and then we will just enclose this entire area underneath here uh, and eventually like this is gonna take a lot of cobblestone and whatnot a lot of building um, but it'll be alright, and the problem is this doesn't go all the way out, it, the shape of things change, so let's just do something like this, and, ow, um, we'll make, we'll make something that looks a little bit weird. Uh, and if we have to, uh, this could be really bad by the way, but it's experience and that's what we need more than anything. Um, the problem with the magma cubes is not the magma cubes themselves, but the, uh, special enemies. Because we can get some really nasty guys spawn on us if we're not careful. And this spawns a lot of enemies, so... Uh, so far, so good. We're just gonna get experience. Cool. No Inferno mobs. Uh, that's what we'd be scared of. Alright, so... Uh, I guess we could just do something like this. And we're just gonna leave it cobblestone. I don't really care. Um... And then I don't know if we want to come out to, like, here. Maybe. Uh, and then we'll just kind of uh, even out the, the landscape and whatnot. Uh, make things somewhat nice. Uh, and you know what? Instead of using our pick. We should probably use our hammer. Uh, so there is going to be a slight area that uh, we can't uh, add any cobblestone to right now. Uh, and obviously we're going to get rid of a lot of this other stuff um, in terms of like, I should really use the hammer. Uh, force of instinct. Uh, we should really like Oh yeah, this will be nice. We could set farms up down here uh, as well. Thanks for like uh, the cactuses would be really nice to have. But all we need to do is just kind of secure this area uh, like we currently are and this should be fine. So um, a little bit more room to work out uh, as we set ourselves on fire some more. And you kind of get the idea. So I will probably build this between episodes. Um, but for right now, let's clear out at least a little bit of it. Uh, and hopefully I can get all my frames back. Uh, this is this series is going to be a little stuttery at times. Um, I, I do plan on getting that fixed sooner rather than later. It's just I got to wait. So... Uh, yeah, it'll it'll happen when it happens. I've been saying that I'm gonna get a new, uh, some more RAM for my computer for quite some time now, a couple years at this point. Uh, but yeah, so kind of get the idea. We can clear this area out. Um, we'll probably put a new floor in and whatnot. Uh, but what we can do is if we come up here to our ladder. We can just uh, put, oh, oh my gosh, I hate those things. Um, we can just put a ladder here and call it a day. So yeah, that'll work. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and clean, oops. Um, finish this wall up and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up a little bit of this area uh, and this is where we're gonna start our cactus farm um, that way it's protected we don't have to worry about it and like I said as soon as we 
uh, get some more space and whatnot, we can, uh, as soon as I, you know, build the rest of it, we'll have plenty of, like, it will we'll be safe, is what I'm trying to say. So, let's see, rocks, we can go ahead and just do that. Um, I really need some sort of sorting system. Uh, but we'll worry about that another time. So do we have... Uh, what was it I wanted? More ladders. We have one ladder. Okay, no problem. We can make more ladders. And hopefully... And that should be enough. Uh, and I do realize that we're going to have to... get rid of that and oh cool we can actually skip ladders but uh for the sake of making it look nice it's not like wood is much of an issue for us at this point uh let's go ahead and finish the ladder up and there we go Cool, so we can put our cactus down here if we want, um, and I think we will go ahead and do that. Um, let's also get some more uh, sand for just that purpose, and hopefully we can start farming. Uh, we'll, we'll check and see if we have what we need yet, but down here uh, we have a lot more space for cactus growth um so that's what we'll do and let's see do we have the four leaves required we do perfect so theoretically this should allow us to start working towards okay this does have durability uh i just now noticed that um this should allow us to start working towards getting um uh, getting the farm going and getting experience. So, while we're waiting on that, let's take a look at our quests. Um, we need a lot of water. Uh, that's one big thing, but something else we can, we can at least start working towards is food. Um, so we have cooking for blockheads and cooking for blockheads one. Um, if we have a book or the capability of making a book, um, that'll be an easy quest. So, how bad is it to make a book? We can make a book with some sort of filament, uh, which we have access to, paper, and blank. So, we do not have access to filament. <sighs> um, so, otherwise we need, we're going to need the cauldron, we're going to need copper ingots. Uh, there's no getting around that. So, let's go ahead and do the other thing, which is, um, let's make some more sieves. And then what we'll do is all of this, we can bust down, grab our nether wart, which for right now we're not going to farm any more of. Um, I don't know that we need to. And then what we can do is just bust down this wall and have a fairly large uh, area for sifting. Um, can we actually go this way? Um, slightly. Okay. So we'll put that back. And for sake of things looking relatively nice, we'll put that back. And we'll put these there. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to make things look relatively nice. Alright, that looks okay. Um, so what we can do... Uh, we can probably break that break all this uh, we can 
up our axes. <laughs> our axe was gone. Uh, why am I? Oh my gosh. Give me my axe back. Uh, oh my god, I really hate this thing. Um, that's why we're going to just switch to a chest. Uh, it's going to be easier. Alright, who cares? We're just going to break it with our hand. <laughs> um, Alright, so... What we can do, let's get rid of the cupboard. I don't really like that thing. Um, it's not useful to me. Go ahead and put it in there. Um, let's dump off all the other stuff. Alright, so what we need is more sieves. Uh, so to make those, we need what? Wood and slabs. Okay, easy, easy, easy. So let's make a bunch of those. Uh, we need some actual wood. Which means we're going to need to make a new axe. Uh, let's see. This is just planks. Okay. So we're going to need a lot more. Uh, let's grab some more cobblestone. Make a new stone axe and maybe two um, because why not? We'll keep one on us. The other one we will just turn all that into. Let's just use its entire durability. Why not? Perfect. Okay, so that is a ton of resources, but who cares? Um, let's make, let's see, six. Uh, we're going to have an odd number. Can we turn these back into planks? No. Alright, so let's make something like... Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's do... Eight. Uh, so that'll give us a three by three. And then we can just dump all of this stuff in here. Um, even the sawdust and the oak, anything that's wood related, we can just dump in there. It'll be fine. Uh, so we should have water. We do. All right, let's come out here and place the lava down somewhere. All right, that works for me. And let's see if we can't get this farm going. Um, let's go ahead and make a stone hoe. I hear a nasty thing um, that I do not like, but we're not going to go outside anytime soon. Uh, so let's come up here. If we fill this fully up, um, will these things stay hydrated? Will they get hydrated? Um, well, they're not decaying back to dirt, so maybe, um, come on, do your magic. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and eat. Okay, they're finally hydrating. Finally. All right, let's come down here real quick. I want to see what's out here. Magma cube over there. And. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so now we can start farming. Real quick, let's go ahead and do. Let's see, one, two. Um, we'll have to clean this up. But for right now, we can just put these here. And we can even put build this into the floor. Is there anything underneath this? There is. So we, we might put that into the floor. Um, that will require us to make more meshes. Um, 
but that should be too bad. We just need a lot of string. Um, string we can get from cotton, uh, or hemp, or spider stuff. Um, which I haven't really seen too many spiders. Uh, or we do the old-fashioned way of growing a tree. Um, a spiderweb sapling. So three string. Ooh. Let's go ahead and make that. If we have the string to do that, um, that might be super duper useful. And we don't really need the, we have the string for that. Um, cause we don't really need much more apples right now. And so what we can do is just, um, I think. I think we have to break this. We're gonna get our apple sapling back. Put that back on there. And we can now start growing the spider uh, web saplings. Awesome, and that should give us string. Uh, so this stuff we might wanna take out. Uh, I really don't know what to do with a lot of this stuff right now. Um, the sawdust is probably going to be important later but for right now it's not like super great we can put it into compressed sawdust and make charcoal so i guess let's do that um we're gonna get plenty of sawdust so it's not a big concern uh so let's just put that away put this stuff in here and yeah i need to sort my inventory uh, anyways, let's get our farm stuff. So, in order to get... Oh, what do we need to farm? Um, we could start farming carrots, rice, and wheat. Uh, we could also start farming hemp if we wanted to. Uh, that's going to be important for a lot of things later, so that might be a good idea. Um, what else do we have? Anything good? Uh, we definitely need to get more stuff. So there's some more hemp. Let's go ahead and get two of those. Canola might not be a bad idea. Uh, and the big thing I want to try to farm up here is we need to get the experience seeds. Um, so let's just put canola, rice, carrots, uh, the hemp and then the wheat and so we can start actually farming things now uh, that is wonderful so what all do we need for the experience seeds uh, let's see we still need uh, we need a lot of essence that's right we need to find infernium essence which we can get um, there's a couple ways to get Infernium, I think. Is there Infernium? Uh, Infernium Ore. There is. We need 26 mining. Ugh. Alright, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to get Infernium. That is kind of key right now. Um, do we have any? We have two. Um, so the first thing we should make is the seeds. Um, so we need eight plus some normal seeds. Uh, we'll grab those, put those in here. What was that? Grass seeds, carrot seeds. We don't have any potato seeds, do we? Or potatoes in general. Um, okay. So, that's a bummer. Um, is there any way we can get this stuff? Um, we could go exploring, uh, and I think that's not a bad idea. Uh, let's put this away. We have our satchel. It is empty. We don't need to cook silkworms. Uh, we don't really need crushed netherrack um, or our hammer, but we'll keep the hammer on us. Uh, hammer on us, not... Okay. Okay. So let's let's go exploring a little bit. Um, I think where I want to go is let's grab another sword. Uh, let's grab the other fish. Uh, they seem to be pretty good weapons. Uh, I know we can fish in the Nether. 
Um, that is a thing that is uh, technically available to us, but it's kind of a weird thing. Uh, so let's just work our way up. And uh, some pretty, I think that's diamonds up there. So yeah, there is somewhere up in here a secret chest, I do believe. Um, is what I've heard. I don't know where it's at exactly. I did a little bit of digging to try to find it. Um, by the way, can we increase? No, we need eight levels. All right, we could go through here. This could be a very bad decision. Ow. Um, we don't have much armor or anything like that, so... Fighting mobs is kind of a scary thing. Especially ones that, you know, um, are blazes. Or any, any variant thereof. So, here is a question. We go around this side. Is there anything else over here? Um, why can't I... Ow. Oh, the hitbox is weird. Okay. Um, I really don't like being here. Um, probably one of the best things to farm um, at this point is ores. Um, but there's a chest down here. Anything down the road? Nope. Alright, we have some things. We can grab the chest because why not? And dead end. Okay. Um, so what do we want to do about this? So we need Infernium in order to get access to more Infernium so that we can get access to the experience seeds. What is that? That looks like Energized Glowstone. Um, interesting. All right, let's see if we can't get out of here safely. Looks like we can. Um, and I guess we'll go up, we'll mine some, and see what we can, see what we can get. Um, so like there's some gold here, we can mine that, get some levels. Uh, we can't mine quartz, there is a ton of coal everywhere. And sometimes we'll get these guys. Uh, the nether mites are sometimes dangerous because they can spawn with like the special effects. Um, but otherwise they'll just give us uh, experience. There's something else up here. Oh, it's just a normal silverfish. Oh, hey, those set things on fire. Cool, so we've got some more levels. Um, I guess let's go ahead and increase mining. Um, because that will allow us to hopefully at some point get... Uh, there's the gas. Um, get access to all of this good... Uh, you know, the Infernium ore and all that kind of fun stuff, if we can even find any of it. Um, we do need to be careful for traps. Um, I know that there are at least a few traps around. Um, how many? I don't really know, but, um... There are at least a few, is what uh, I've been told. I've heard that the, the mobs tend to trigger them before we'll even see them, but uh, still, it's not something I really want to chance. Um, there was one near the base, um, which I know blew up 
Uh, before... Ooh, that's bad. These guys have more health, and they do a lot more damage. Oh, I shouldn't have touched it. Um, whoops. Yeah, purple mobs are bad. Um, purple fiery mob is very, very bad. Don't touch, don't touch, run away. But, um, let's go back up there. And... How are we doing on string, by the way? We have six string already. Nice. Um, so what we're going to probably end up doing... This sounds kind of weird. Um, but what I'll probably do um, between episodes is just kind of... Uh, in order to get a lot of resources... Um, we have infinite cobblestone. Um, we have infinite wood. With those two things, we can basically make... Um, so we went up this way. Uh, we can basically make as much uh, we can we can just kind of cycle those constantly if we want um, it's not a big deal to make another axe to make more wood uh, and whatnot so cool there we go um, I don't know why everything shifted one but that's fine anyways we get the iron that was here we did uh, yeah, we gotta be careful of the purple mobs. They are not nice. And... Cool. Um, so I don't know where the, the treasure is in the ceiling. Um, I might look around for that, but kind of my idea is what I'm gonna do is um, make more meshes with just string and sift a ton of stuff um, once I have enough now, uh, once I have enough of the uh, the flint, we will make flint meshes and continue sifting, um, and just kind of cycle cycle through all that. Um, I'm also gonna figure out if there is a good way to get infernium, because uh, I've yet to see any infernium ore. Uh, that might be some up there. But it might also be just uh, Ardite. So I have no idea how to get Infernium at this point. It's a bunch of uh, Endermans. Uh, but yeah, so sifting is going to be kind of my big thing to do at this point. Uh, and then next episode, uh, I'm hoping we'll have uh, the the lower half of our little area kind of secured, um, so that we can start, you know, farming farming cactus. And uh, we'll probably end up putting a lot of machines down there, better with mod stuff, that kind of thing. Um, and then we can go from there. So yeah, that's gonna be the plan. Uh, I'm gonna look into how to get more infernium. Um, so that we can get what we need. Um, I'm half tempted to kill the uh, Enderman, but I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get some more Infernium. And then start sifting just a ton of things. So, um, String Mesh is going to be the the key at first. Um, I think... Actually, let's, let's test something. Let's put two String Meshes... Um, so we we have plenty of string at this point to make more meshes. Um, also, we should turn this stuff into iron. And uh, we can use that for more, more things. So let's get like two more string meshes for right now. And what I want to see, if we put that one there and that one there, let's get some gravel. And so if I hit the center one, it's only going to do the flint. My inventory is way too full for this. Uh, let's just move everything over that I know is not going to be causing any issues. Alright, so we got some hint from that. That's kind of cool. Um... Alright, so if we take this guy out, put him back in, 
uh, and then start sifting, uh, it doesn't work. Is that because uh, gravel doesn't do anything with string? Oh, okay. Um, so string mesh is only for... Uh, I don't know why it's only showing the heavy sieve, but uh, soul sand, uh, sand, dirt, and dust. Okay, so that would be the reason why. Um, so let's forget about the string meshes for now. We'll keep a few. Uh, these do not stack, by the way. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But let's grab an iron and a flint. And now what happens if I choose the flint? Okay, so they have to be the same type in order for us to get anything good from them. Um, but that's okay. So... I am going to spend some time sifting, uh, getting more meshes and whatnot, and uh, like I said, I'll probably put this into the floor so it's a little bit nicer. Um, we'll have plenty of chests for all the extra stuff, and uh, next time we're going to try to kind of progress a little bit more. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to figure out how to get more Infernium, and once we can, um, that's going to be kind of the goal. So. That's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!